part two of the Winlot AOI AOB integration. In this part, I'm going to add the general housekeeping instructions, things like switching on, switching off, acknowledging errors, and homework. The first item we're going to start with is actually a monitoring block. That just monitors drive status. The next AOI we're going to add is the MSO to switch on the drive. Here we're going with the MSF for the switch off command to the Winlot drive, the LMMAH to run our homing sequence as part of our initialization, and the LMMAFR to acknowledge any errors that might occur during operation. Here we have an accelerated version of the tag creation. For each AOI, it needs its own unique tag, again, to reserve memory in the PLC, and each AOI also features the common bench axis we created in the first video. From here, I'll pull up Winlot Talk in our handy webcam so that we can examine the axis as we go through the various states. Once the program is downloaded into the controller, we will start getting feedback on that LM drive status block. And the feedback will be mirrored in the Winmot Talk window in the upper right. When we first power it on, we go to Operation Enabled, so we hold position. As I press on the back end of this, you can see the current increase and decrease. Now when I toggle the LMMSF, the motor will switch off and go into the state ready to switch on. And I can push it freely with my hand. Now we can toggle the LMMSO AOI and then do the same thing for the LMMAH to start the homing sequence. That was set up in the Linmont Motor Wizard. In this instance, the Linmot makes a negative move until reaching the hard stop and maximum current, then sets its actual position to negative 10 millimeters, and then goes to the initial position of 0 millimeters. From here, we'll test the error acknowledge bit. Uh, I've simply switched off the uh, 72 volt supply, and as capacitors bleed down, we'll go into a worn state and then an error state as we go below 40 volts. Now to clear this error, first thing I'll need to do is return power to the normal voltage. From here I can send the LMMAFR command before sending the LMMSF tell the drive to switch off and then switch back on to go into the operation enabled state. From here, we are ready for motion commands, which will be continued in part three, the LMMAM instruction. Thank you for watching.